Hi, beautiful. Welcome back to my channel. So the uh, Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Pitobi, has filed a petition to the presidential election tribunal in Abuja. This was disclosed by the chief, uh, chief spokesperson for Labour Party, Dr. Danko. You guys, you don't know how excited I am when I saw this news. I was so excited see i'm rooting for mr pitobi a lot of meaningful nigerians who know mr pitobi if you know mr pitobi if you know pitobi very well he's not the type that easily give up most especially when his right is being deprived if you know this man if you know how this man fought and changed the constitution of nigeria during his time uh in when he won the um the governorship election in 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 Anambra, how the PDP deprived him, how they stole his mandate. This man fought to the end. It took him like two years plus to reclaim that mandate. He doesn't care. And this time around, he doesn't care how long it's going to take. He has promised Nigerians that he's going to reclaim this mandate peacefully. And you guys, I'm really, I'm really excited this morning. I'm so, so excited. I'm so, I know a lot of Nigerians are because we are about, you know, reclaiming our mandate and you know it's not going to be an easy battle it's not going to be an easy thing because this apc government they're out for everyone they're out for every meaningful nigerian they're out for everybody you guys if you know what has happened so far if you know how what has happened behind behind the camera if you know what has happened during the time of the presidential election till this moment you guys you will know that these people are really desperate if you know how many people they you EAU um, observers have stated that at least 25 persons have died in the course of this election period. You guys, these people are so desperate. They don't care who is going down. They don't care who is dying. They don't They don't literally care for Nigerians. Let me put it that way. They don't care. All they care is their pocket. And this got me thinking, this might be the reason why they don't want to, you know, bring, you know, they keep on making Nigerians poor. They keep on frustrating the efforts of good Nigerians to to get get a good governance because they believe that when you are poor, you cannot, you don't have the mindset of your own. You only dance to the tune of your enemies. This is why everybody has to pray for this Mr. Pitobi to reclaim this. He's the only hope. See, if at the end of the day, these people deprive deprive us deprive us justice because every nigerian is is fighting is fighting this war is in this war together alongside with mr pitobi so if at the end of the day we are deprived god forbid i don't think nigeria would ever remain the same you, you i don't know if you guys have seen clips of a lot of nigerians who are in abroad they are just tearing their passport they've lost hope in their country mr pitobi was the only person that ignited that hope that gave people hope to at least to still believe that we are one in this country but with the recent happenings it shows that we are not even one but we are we are still hoping is and for me, I'm still rooting for Mr. Pitobi. I'm still saying it is not over until it is over. It is not over until Mr. Pitobi comes out and say it is over. Now, it is not over until it comes out from his mouth. But as for now, I'm still on the ground rooting for him. I'm praying for him that he's going to come out successful, that this, this, these demons are not going to be allowed to rule and destroy Nigerians. They are not going to be allowed to make mockery of that country. They are not going to be allowed to shed innocent blood. You know how many people have lost, how many people have died in the course of all this uh, uh, all this all this election period in the course of let me say in the course of this buhari's administration you know how many people have been in, 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 impoverished you know how many people have lost their properties a lot of things has has happened in just this space of eight years of this buhari's administration and a lot of nigerians are willing to give up their life to see that there is change but in case just in case if these people deny us deny us justice I don't think Nigeria would ever be the same again. The Igbos are agitating because they, there is no good government. No Igbo man, if you read the history of the Biafran War, let me not even call it the Biafran War, let me call it genocide. If you read that the history, if you read everything, if you analyze everything, you know that the Igbos are not even... There are more Nigerians more than the, the so-called Nigerians. They are, they are the ones that when they come to any 
any state in Nigeria, they are, they are the ones that would build, develop that place. But yet these people don't want to accept them. Yet these people keep on the, uh, suppressing them. No matter the little effort they are making, they keep on suppressing these people. You don't want these people to go. You, yes, you don't want to let them, you know, you know, have peace. The Igbos are not interested in 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 in, in who rules Nigeria. What they are interested in is just a friendly environment. Is it too much to ask Nigerian government? Is it too much to to ask to give these people security to allow them to breathe fresh air without intimidating them? We are seeing everything that is happening in Lagos State and also some other part of the country. How the Igbos were being deprived. How every day. The people that claim there are more Nigerians more than the more than the Igbos keep reminding us to go back to our region. They keep reminding us to go back to the east. Yes, we want to go, we want to leave, but if people don't want us to leave, why are you holding us back? Why are you suppressing us? If an Igbo man can rule Nigeria, then there's no need of of, of being being in the country where you cannot allow us to at least rule the country and this is why i keep saying how i wish just how i wish pitobi was an evil woman his all, only crime is being evil if you've been on twitter if you've seen how some of these robots are tweeting and saying a lot of ill things about this man i laughed i said his only crime is being an evil but i'm hoping I'm hoping that Chukwuka Abiyama is not going to shame us this time around. And if you don't get it right this time around, trust me, Nigeria will never, ever be the same. Because this time around, people that have not even been interested in agitation will not have a strong ground to agitate, will not have a reason to agitate, will not, have, will not agitate with full force. Nigerian government should not burn down this country. The Tinubu, the APC government should not burn this down, burn down this country. They should do the right thing. Let justice prevail. Let the son of no man get a job. Let son of no man become somebody without even knowing anybody in the country. Let justice prevail. This is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, remain blessed. Thank you so much.